What's going on YouTube back again with another video in this video we are going to be installing the two inch drop shackle so hopefully it's not as bad as it seems but uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and put the camera over start taking the toe hitch off and go from there so let me go ahead and flip the camera we'll catch you here in a while so we are going to be taking off the hinge right now so there's the stock shackles so right now I'm gonna be taking the hinge a couple bolts there a couple bolts over here and over there the hinge should come out so right now I'm gonna take the hinge and uh, we'll move on from there so right now I'll catch you here in a little while also don't forget to put some DW 40 on the bolts to loosen them up so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that so it won't be rusted on there not that they are but we're gonna go ahead and spray this one on and we'll take off the toe hinge so we got the toe hinge off as you can see I'm gonna take off the tire and do that on jack stands over there and do that the jacks so I'm gonna take off the tire put that in the bottom and start loosening the shackles As you can see, one bolt off the shackle right there. We gotta get the top one. Now it's gonna be a little trickier, but I had to take the tire down because the impact could get in there. Get in there, so you might have to do that. And the hinge goes right here. So now I'm gonna do the other one, and hopefully I don't have too much of a problem go from there. Okay, so we did manage to lo loosen one of the shackles. You can see. So right now we're gonna check the other one. Lift it from the those uh, right there, and it'll go up so you can get the the bolt out to the top, and you should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bit the other one. Okay, shackle is on. I'll tighten. I'm just gonna take that. Key out. Other than that, she is on. I am about to lower it as soon as I take the key out, and I'll catch you here in a little while. You can see, shackle is in. So now I am gonna lower it, and we're gonna go from there, move on to the other side, and I'll catch you here in a little while. I think it kind of did make a difference. As you can see the front, you see a big old gap there. And as soon as I Kind of did do a difference, not too much, but it did fill in a little bit of that gap. So, as you can see, like I said, as soon as you go over here, big old gap. So, I still gotta do this one. So, I'm gonna move on to this one now, and it should be a lot easier now, now that I know what I'm doing. So, stay tuned. They also get kind of cloudy on me. Hopefully it just doesn't start raining. Other than that, we'll knock this side out. As you can see, got the two bolts out. Now I just gotta lower the frame and the jack. Make sure you have your two stands over there on the frame. This one, as soon as you lower it, just take the bolt out. Then the other one should just go up once you lower the, pick up the frame. Then you should be good. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll go from there. Okay, so we do got both sides done. This one's done. Let's see. And here are the old ones. It was kind of a little pain to put them in, but not as bad. As you can see, it did drop it a whole two inches. Not, nothing too crazy, but it does look way better than what it was. It was probably up to here, so it didn't make a difference. So I'll probably sell those if anybody wants those. I'll probably even give them for free. We'll see. But it does look way better. I still have to drive on it to stiffen the so to make sure everything sits right. But uh, other than that, she does look way better sitting like that. 
so that is the install on the two inch drop shackles that I bought and I barely got them yesterday installed them today it turned out to be a nice day it starts sprinkling but nothing too crazy other than that like I said if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe uh, if you're planning on doing this make sure you ain't got nothing to do that day uh, like I said if, if you're gonna plan on doing it by yourself like I did uh, just make sure you ain't got nothing to do that day uh, because you are gonna have some hiccups but other than that it's a simple install take off the two bolts I got an impact so I made the job a lot easier other than that the truck does hit good uh, I'll probably drive around here in a bit see if it sits a little bit better but I'm happy what it looks like right now so probably here in a little I'll go for a cruise and that's where I'll end the video but please like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one once I show you the end of the results so that is with the suspension fully adjusted looks a little bit way better now as you can see it looks a lot way better now go ahead and show you the other side way better doesn't bet's not all lifted so that's where i'm gonna wrap this video please like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one